All right, guys, we were going to train, but I'm injured, and you had a bit of a metatarsal injury before you went to France, didn't you? Yeah. So, so, so now we're not going to train, but lucky enough to have Andrew back in a very, very sunny Bristol today, so you just fancied a chat, didn't you? Mate, it's a beautiful day. It's nice <laughs> to be outside, and uh, yeah, I'm on Stephen Gray's channel, guys. It's not every day you get to, you get to say that. Stick that one on your CV. Blessed. So, I'll, I'll start us off then. Andrew, uh, with the whole YouTube thing. Can I say, you're looking good today. Thank you, not too bad. Just you, haven't, you haven't shaved, and this is the first time that, um, in a week is it, that you haven't had anything in your hair? Steve's been stalking me on Twitter. But yeah, basically, first time, no, no, it's the first time in about 10 years that I didn't put any gel in my hair for more than like two or three days. It's been a week with no gel in the hair. It's not a big deal, but to me it's a big deal, so. Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, what do you guys think? But what do you, what do you ladies think? More importantly, yeah. you, you've got a lot of female fans, haven't you? Two or three. They're limited. They're probably ex-girlfriends. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First thing I want to talk about with you is, uh, is YouTube actually. Mm -hmm. So obviously, like your channel, I think it's fair to say is like, it's blowing up for you big time. Oh, thanks. I'm just curious to know what some of the, can you give us any insight into where you're looking to sort of take things? Um, what sort of things can we expect from you? Yeah, content-wise. Yeah, this is this is like actually, yeah, it's a really good uh, time to ask that question. I'd say because oh, it's lucky. Yeah, I mean you're just spot on with the timing. No, it's uh, <laughs> it really is because I want to like do something different. Like mm -hmm. I feel that at the moment, to be honest, I do do a few things different. Like I've got different skills to everyone else. Yeah, I've got my own tricks, and that. I show a bit about my life and traveling and yeah. vlogging and stuff but people do that with freestyle already a, a little bit you know people yeah make a edit of their trip to somewhere and do skills and a bit yeah. of vlogging it's true and and then the football youtuber challenges that sort of help the techers the techers you know oh, the, the, that sort of stuff which you know it's, it's actually become something that i kind of enjoy you know i, enjoy I was gonna it. ask you that do you actually yeah, enjoy yeah. it i really do because it it gives me a bit of a break from freestyle. It gives me a bit of... Um, that I can reason with. It, it helps me keep a balance. I and, I, and I enjoy it, you know, who doesn't like just smacking a ball? You know, just it's kicking tempting. it, trying I to score goals. It that's tempting, yeah. And it's easy. That's the, At the end of the day, you guys follow me on social media. Um, I'm busy all the time. Like, a freestyler's lifestyle is kind of crazy. So it is, yeah. it's a really good way for me to make videos and collaborate with people, which yeah. essentially is going to share my freestyle videos and my skills with the world. So if I'm doing a collab where I'm doing football challenges, you know, it might yeah. be a simple crossbar challenge. I can, one, show off a bit more of my personality away from the tricks, which I think is important because, mm -hmm. you know, there's so many great freestylers out there with, like, cool personalities. It's yeah. nice to try and show your personality yeah. off a bit. I think it's hard to stand out these days. Well. Yeah. But. And, um, you know, I get to, I get to do my, do my own thing, I guess. I want to do something different. And that thing is, like, I want to, have my own series and I've already filmed two episodes of it okay and it's gonna be a much higher quality production mm -hmm. um, you know I got camera guys I've got drones flying over Sven. like <laughs> different things you know so yeah you know Sven helped me out and I got another guy called Leo Darshan helped out um, sick so, yeah Darshan, there's, sick. there's lots of cool guys help help me out with the starting um, starting blocks to this series and yeah it's basically I don't want to give too much away, but I'm basically going this. to a different city each episode. Okay. They're going to be about 10 minutes long. Oh, we've had this. I've had this conversation. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I know what the series is. So, I'm looking forward to the series. Actually. Yeah, I do want to have a lot more freestyles involved in my channel. Like, once it's bigger, I don't need to collaborate as much with other guys. Well, I don't know. Stephen <laughs> guys. Like, Pushing you know, the boat out. You know, I was thinking more like, you know, some other guys. Someone, who's, someone who's won something. Yeah, you know, I don't know about <laughs> Stephen Gray, but we'll see, mate. You know, just, we'll see. I mean, I heard train and no train and no. Don't even know the title of it. <laughs> no, I do, guys. It's um, no train, no game. Thank you. I'm just messing with you, Stephen. I, I know it. From all the people that you have uh, collaborated with, um, who's your favourite? If you had to pick one, and oh, I don't, mate, I, it's got to be you, mate, right now. Besides me, I mean, I mean the big, the big YouTubers. Oh, mate, besides you, I'd probably say out of the big YouTubers. 
I don't, I don't mean, I don't mean which one do you look back and went, oh, that was like my favourite video, or whatever. I mean, like, is there anyone that you People. kind of like, yeah, you click well with them and stuff like that? Are, are they? Yeah, loads, man. They're all awesome guys. That's the thing. Like, you look at the videos and you're like, oh, this guy's blatantly a little rat. Like, <laughs> he's just shouting techers. But they're actually all pretty decent guys. Like, Theo Baker's a really nice guy. Yeah. Kieran Brown, awesome guy, absolutely awesome guy. Um, who else? I don't know. Collaborate Manny. Yeah. He's got millions of subscribers, but very humble, about, down to earth. What about Akinfenwa? Because it's no secret, Adebayo Akinfenwa is doing bits for my team this season, and if anything, is keeping Wickham's playoff hopes well, alive. Well, better not slate him then. You better not slate him. No, Akinfenwa is a good guy. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's good. For, he's a nice guy. Yeah, I get on well with him. Um, you seen the video we did together? It was a very rushed video. We were just messing around, basically. <laughs> you were and rubbish. General tips before I go on to specifics yeah, about like you and your training lifestyles. The son, they can't make his mind up. Um, what are some general tips for like for freestyle? Not necessarily beginner, but like um, for people wanting to progress onto that sort of higher level. Yeah, for people who want to take it seriously. Are you asking? You asking tips for you now, aren't you? I need it. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Just you know, from you'll have a perspective that's different. To, from my experience, I'd say. Like, learn from other people, watch them and see their skills and see how, not just their skills, the skills is only a small part of it. See how they, they act, see how they oh, yeah. react to different situations or opportunities, um, how they, you know, just their overall attitude, their training, their stretching, everything, their lifestyle, and just analyze it observe it observe everyone everything and just decide what you want to do what, what you like about it what you think is good and take a bit of inspiration from there and there but make it your own have your own ideas and actually a lot of the time the answer is quite simple in freestyle it's actually most people don't want it enough to go out and train and you have to give everything to it and if you don't give everything to it and you just you give do. a bit you're just one of those guys that's just going to float along and do freestyle and just be okay at it. And you'll see guys that will improve more than you in a year than you do in 10 years, 5, 10 years. Yeah. Because they they put everything into it for a year, you know, or two years. I'll have training sessions, I'll yeah. give it my all during the training session. What are you filming there? Uh, what, 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 what's it's not happening? Train, though, again, it's what's happening? It's Q&A 101. General interview. Yeah. You're interviewing yeah. him? Have you yeah. got any questions? We'll about give you, training? We'll, no, just about anything in general, anything you what want to you ask. What do you do? What is it your... No, it doesn't... I mean, just about just anything you want to ask, anything in general. Um, Three questions. In general? And then you got to go. That's what's like. the smoothest wine out of your Rocco and Merlot? That is my question right now. Like, but it, but you're it's into Merlot. the bullets and stuff, aren't you? I don't have you one. You love a bullet. Yeah, I wouldn't say... That's every morning I have one, every morning. No, I don't have one. I do. But I do appreciate them. I have one every morning. Spinach, kale. Yeah, yeah. Ginger, mm -mm. carrots, ginger. and pineapple. Don't you interviewing him? Why though? Huh? Why? Uh, What's it to do with? I'm not. I want him. FHM sexiest uh, young body. Yeah, it's she not nice. There's two days in now. You know, I, I probably need to have a bath, don't I? Yeah, you probably need to have. You a probably bath. do need to have a bath. I was thinking about having a little swim. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have a little dip. I think if I just done like, if I'm a tetanus, so I so that die. makes it okay then. Yeah. Yeah, just, just am I doing your edit? Am I doing your edit? No, no, no. I reckon no, I can do a little French and I've just handed my dissertation in, so like it's all deserved. Ah, what was, what was your dissertation Solid. title? Psychology. Ah, uh, same. What was your title? I can't even remember. Oh, wow, that's, uh, it's that's so annoying. bad. You guys have a lot it's in common. So no, bad. Not enough. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna yeah, nice see to meet you. Yeah, I'm on the station. Yeah, I'll probably f <laughs> Probably gonna to touch a nerve with you this one. Okay. Uh, I want you to cast your mind back to UK Champs 2015. Mm -hmm. I think you know where I'm going with this. Yeah. Se semi, semi final mm -hmm. against Mr. Sir Tom Foland. Yeah. The man. The myth, the legend. Oh, what I want to know, and what my people want to know, is after the battle was done, so like. If you can properly envision it, <laughs> I want to know: is there any, is there any part of you, or like, did you think I've lost this? Like, crap. Tom's Tom's had me here. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, she just walked away from the conversation. <laughs> That's what I should probably do. No, um, firstly, Tom's an, an awesome freestyler. He's a good person. Don't sugarcoat it. A nice guy, wonderful guy. Truthfully. 
there was not a moment where I thought I'd lost this battle. Why? That's because you know there's many things. There's you know it's not just a technical game. There's not just not. there's not just lowers and technical uppers, technical six. You know that's uh, maybe on a Russian point system. <laughs> that's the that's the way to score it. But oh, you know be class on Russian you've oh, I would yeah I mean, you'd smash it. Obviously he's a great freestyler all round. Absolutely. Um, but in that battle itself, he just showed basic all round mixed with incredible lowers. You know, he can do some crazy stuff in lowers, and he did but do some crazy stuff in lowers. Very consistent, very clean. But his first round was great, and his second two rounds were basic. My my stuff was messy. I think it was good style, and I think if you yeah drops, I had drops though. That's that's one thing. Top but it, but he did have none. But he did basics in the second and third round. You know, I can I, I can not drop the ball for a couple of days if I'm doing basics. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah he did a really good lower combo. I, I don't want to take it away from him. But I'm doing a lot of creative tricks, my own signature tricks. That's what freestyle is. And battle, um, you know, you got to show yourself. And I, I showed yeah. myself in that battle. Uh, yeah, it was my best performance. I'm not proud of it. I had a lot of uh, different things going into that. that I don't want to talk too much about it, but it made the circumstance hard for me to push so hard and uh, I was just thankful to scrape through we had a draw we had a split judging panel on yeah it. I think and uh, went to the went to an extra round which you won which which but I just don't think you should have ever have gone to an extra round yeah. I, th I think for me and for where, where all the guys were standing and watching it back now I still think even if you want to label the stuff that he did yeah. was facing Tom performs the the absolute best of his ability. I thought, well, I'd be voting yeah. for him all day long. I thought he beat you. So, like, it's like I said, that, you know, there's many different aspects in freestyle, not just the technical. And I think a lot of the guys in the UK are really just focused on the technical side of things. And um, so, you were banking on the judges would see that and share your view. Yeah, I think also I I, I recognised that um, he was better in terms of the skills, like the technical skills and stuff. But I had a lot of different. Uh, elements to it that he didn't show any of. For example, the musicality I had. When you vote in style, you're you're voting. It's not about the cleanness the, of the tricks. It's about the overall yeah. style, the flow, the yeah. the whole the energy you bring. That's your style. Do you know what I mean? I was hitting the beat on time. You know, I was being spontaneous. I think that gives me more style points, in my opinion. Um, of course, I'm probably going to be a bit biased towards myself, but that's that's the way I see it. Um, the, the thing that I would like to say about this uh, topic is just the enormous amount of respect I have for Tom. Um, and I, I got so much more, because you know, obviously we've been rivals for a while, we get on well, we train together and we have a good time, we support Messi each other. Messi versus Ronaldo. But it, UK, was like, yeah. it was like, you know, there, were, there, were, it, there was definitely a rivalry because I saw him as, you know, definitely uh, for most of the years. Um, obviously Dan's been in the scene and, you know, got Jamie Knight and, so, and uh, other guys as well. But, you know, Tom, for most of the time, has been my biggest rival in terms of, you know, a threat to taking my UK crown away. So I, I had a massive amount of respect for him after that, especially because the way he handled it. You know, he didn't moan, he didn't sulk, he didn't complain. Yeah, I mean, I feel for him because I think at the end of the day, it's hard to not, like, I don't want to take anything away from Tom or you, but it's kind of like, it does come back to a bit of um, raised eyebrows about the judging system we have. but. You know, but the thing is, what I'm saying is, on another day, a, a different three judges. Do you not think? Ha ha oh, of course, seen... man. If you were on a judging panel instead of one of the others, then well, I would actually, go for him. Well, so, well, well that's interesting because I, I want to have a crack at judging. Yeah, I'd love to have a crack at judging. Do you think I'd be an okay judge? Yeah, not if you're judging that man. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I don't know. That one. No, okay, mate, of course you'd be a fantastic judge. You have a good, uh, you have a good head on you. That's a really important thing that is overlooked. It seems by so many. You need to have a, a normal, like a decent head on you, like on your shoulders, to be able to, like, yeah, you know, decent head. You have to be able to be like normal mentally, like. I think, like some guys, they yeah, they've got a lot of knowledge of the tricks and the skills, but they're like messed up in the head. So when they ju judge, they're like, uh, voting. With I wasn't emotion. even voting. I wasn't even watching him. I really don't like this. Uh, this this way of like when people select judges like that. So yes, Steve, you'd be a great judge. And, uh, Give me him.
Yeah, you would because be you have good knowledge of the sport, which you, of of course you need. Yeah. Um, I think you know you've been around for a while, so you've got that credibility. Yeah. What, um, what you're about active in the scene and, and you've yeah. got a good head on your shoulders? What about the fact that I haven't competed at, let's say, the highest of the highest levels? Well, I mean, I think that could be a factor, but like you said before. Um, when we talked to you, you, you said uh, freestyle is still kind of in its infancy in terms of a sport. Um, so maybe that's not that's such a big deal, okay. but yeah, that could be a factor, I guess. Yeah, that could be. All right.